We are facing a planetary emergency. The best minds of our time tell us that now we are living the greatest challenges of 5,000 years of recorded human history. Our planet is faced by such serious challenges at the moment, challenges of overpopulation, starvation, climate change, pollution, and so on. So the choices we make now have the power to destroy our planet, to destroy each other, to destroy civilization, um, or to transform it and take it to the next level. I was always chasing an illusion, whether it was drugs, drink, women, cars, and every time I got that illusion, it never made me happy. So I asked myself, how can I change? How can I change these things? Deep change or slow death? Organizations face every day the choice, deep change or slow death. Individuals are facing the choice, deep change or slow death. The world changes, things change. When you can look ahead and let your own self look ahead, open up to what your needs are looking ahead. If you know for sure the world's gonna become a better place to live, we can clean up the water, we can change the energy, we can change the patterns of the past, and you go in that direction, they will happen. You've got to see it. I was at a place in my own life where I thought, if it is as simple as that, and things are as they are, as we see them, in black and white, and they have no color and no significance, then I, I want out. I spent the sort of first half of my life building organizations for profit, um, and I'm now, I suppose, um, spending most of my time building organizations on a, on a not-for-profit basis. Um, uh, and so I'm using my, my entrepreneurial skills to look at some of the sort of seemingly intractable problems in the world and seeing, you know, can those, can those problems be addressed in a better way. I think the spirit of giving, I think, exists with all of us. I think what it takes, I think sometimes, is an event. Something happens in your life that, that gets you on that kind of journey. And I think this journey for me has been as rewarding, as satisfying for me, as it has been for the people's lives that I've touched. What we do each moment of every day in our lives affects something much bigger than our personal lives. We reach a crisis in our life and we think the choices that we're making are just about our lives. But eventually we come to understand that we are so interconnected to everyone else we're, through our social networks and the way that we all mix and, and merge and exchange information with each other all the time that we start to realise I'm not just changing my own life but I am actually having an effect in, in the broader world. So in order for the world to become the generosity that it wants to receive. The world inside has to shift to trust and believe that that is possible in order to make that change. Everybody can make a positive difference. Everyone has a choice to go out there and be able to say, this is the decision that I want to make that will help make a better world. We are living a compressed window. The greatest number and the greatest magnitude of crises ever to face a human population in the last 5,125 years. Each time this cycle comes to an end, it opens a window of opportunity called a choice point. And we look for a glorious denouement when we will discover that we are actually members of one family. I promise you, if you make the commitment to align with your purpose, and knowing that that purpose, when you're fully aligned with it, is aligned with the purpose of the universe at that moment in time, you're going to have an extraordinary life. Well, I don't know what your choice point would be, but welcome to the Choice Point movement. Cheers. You can take that leap of faith and enjoy and embrace life.